this is really a good one. You like this one? Yeah. Yeah, this, too. Yeah, it comes from uh, South Carolina. I think it's up in the Blue Ridge Mountains and stuff. A uh, photographer friend on one of the on Facebook sent it to me. And uh, so we thought we thought I'd take a shot at it and stuff. I really liked it. I mean, I just was like, gosh, you know, you know, how do you, you, know, we, <laughs> you never see this stuff. You know, I mean, you see it in the magazines and stuff, but you don't really ever, you know, get a chance to do something like this. So I thought it was great. I you do know, too. You know, cabin like that. Love it. Yeah, I know. And I love the way, here, let me pull it up on the screen here and I can go through it real quick. Any more, uh. Things I was talking about. Oops, it's not showing up. Well, oh, I didn't. Oh. Oh. They took off Gmail for some reason, or my uh, G Drive for some reason, so I can't pull it up. Anyway, let's go through it. We can go through it from here. Okay. Uh, what I liked about this and stuff, I, I love this drop off right here, off right up right by the drive. I like the way the drive kind of goes up and around this ca cabin, this old cabin and stuff. Uh, the trees and stuff around it are very making nice quaint. It's not, it's a very rustic cabin. Uh, when we paint it though, I would say when we paint it, I mean, get closer so we can look no. at it, okay? Think, don't put in any of these banisters or any of this stuff. Don't think about that stuff. That stuff goes in after we have everything else painted from behind and back and stuff again. Just think about, you know, think about just the insides and, and the ceiling here of, a, of the porch. Think about these, these, uh, these are rocks in here and stuff. You guys can see them and stuff. And this little path you kind of have to go up the, up to the, uh, the porch and stuff. Stuff that's uh, looks some rocks and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, great, really nice angle. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on in it. Love the windows. Love the wood texture. It's very gray again. And I'm basically, I think that's going to be the key to the whole painting is this kind of gray. Is working that gray into everything we paint. Everything we paint from the sky to the trees to the road to these uh to to the ground and stuff and even into the trees put a little bit of this gray in there and this thing will be solid it's gonna be really really nice guarantee it you can barely see a little mountains back over in here too there's a little bit of blue mountains back in here too but uh it's gonna be quite nice i think when we get done to get going on. any questions no 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 <laughs> questions again oh, i tell you i tell you i get better at this and better I, i'm just, i'm so surprised okay well let's go mix some paints and get going on this thing we don't have much time the other people are going to come in late wow they're going to be they're going to be going to miss so much we're i think so isn't this going to be like a little bit more difficult than, difficult uh, yeah. Is it music no. from, from Saturday's class? Yeah. No. This, well, I would say, well, you know how the grays, I could tell, you know, a lot of the grays we put in that one on Saturday are going to be in this, this guy here. There's a lot of burnt sienna and blue mix right here in this guy. Blue, or there's a burnt, burnt umber and blue for the roof because it's a cool gray. This is kind of a warm gray. Even in here, We'll probably go more with. Uh, I could. We could look at doing it with a, uh, keeping it very simple and just going with uh, burnt sienna and blue, and doing the insides of this thing too, in the windows and stuff. Could just do it very simple that way. Just uh, keep it, uh, you know, really limited palette on it and stuff. So could do it that way, or we, you know, I probably just start start that way with my mixes and then of course you know me I just get carried away and I'll start adding in uh, some more stuff but let me freshen up some paints as you can tell my my white is pretty much gone and wasted so let's get rid of that that's not gonna be any good for anybody 
Uh, yellow is good. My cad, cad yellow is good. Cad red, I have enough. Cad orange is still good. Ochre is doing well. Uh, Lizarin. Let's get some new Lizarin out. This is my bleach, unbleached white, which still okay. Uh, like I said, I'm seeing oh, my Venetian's kind of gone past its day. Blue has still got some good stuff in it, but let's get rid of the green. That's no good to have in my painting. When you're looking for for blue and you get green, that's not right. Burnt sienna is still good. Burnt umber, I tell you, burnt umber is a weird color because it's it dries so fast. I, I mean, even with those big things there, big puddles of color, they just still go uh, go bad. I mean, it just dries up quick. Gets a heavy skin on it. So let's put some burnt umber back out. Gonna use a lot of that. I think I got enough burnt sienna out. That's still good. Here's my um, Venetian red, putting that back up. Okay, so that's burnt umber and that is uh, phthalo green. And the next one would be Prussian blue. And all this stuff over here is just leftover uh, pigments left over from last paint job I did. And uh, maybe we'll be able to, maybe I can steal something from there, I don't know. I try not to, but I'll, if I do, I do. Save some paint. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I was gonna put some uh, more lizard in now. Lizard right here. This is, little worms work pretty good going, making worms. Save some space. Okay, so this photo is again just for reference. It's really not the colors I'll be making. The colors I'll be making are off my mon off my monitor over here, which are way more, a little bit more vibrant, but uh, still not too crazy. I mean, basically this area here is just a little bit lighter than uh, everything else, but that's you know not too crazy. Of course, the sky's brighter. Almost like that sky better. Okay, let's start going with the house. house. Building the house. I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna start off and try burnt sienna and blue first. And I'm thinking about maybe if I, it's on this burnt sienna side here, just a little bit redder than the much blue I put in. I'll be able to do it, put it in here and stuff inside the, 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 the porch and stuff. Probably working it on down, down. so that might be pretty good. Um, let's see what it happens here. I'm going to put it over here, put a bunch over here and see if I got the right gray for the, for the house. You know, the building itself, it might come out too blue. Might not. This is probably a little bit too blue. I don't know if I put more burnt umber, in, burnt sienna in it. Cut it with some more white to get it to about right value. Yeah, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be it. That's a little brown, of course, so it's going to take some more blue. Is that cobalt, gray. cobalt blue? Yeah, that's the cobalt blue hue. Okay. Yeah, nailed it. That's pretty close. I mean, enough white. So it's on the brown side. It's on the uh, burnt sienna side. The blue, the white, and the blue and the white, uh, being white and stuff, white's a cool color. And getting in there and stuff, that's going to cool it off too. So that's going to be pretty much, this could be my house, a lot of my house color in here. Stuff that I'm probably going to mix up a few other colors, but let's get going with these. These will be the darks for some of the uh, windows and for inside here. Uh, the roof, like I said, the roof is going to be burnt, probably burnt umber and blue. Isn't that right, Lisa? Absolutely. That's what you, that's what you were making? Yep. I know. Lisa started ahead of us. She started mixing colors ahead of us. She got in here early. Keep up. And I was going to test her. I was going to call her and test her. Every color I make, say, is this right or wrong? 
I can get them down to three colors. When you start adding cadmium orange and all that, I can. Then I lost. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is it right there. That's that's could be almost the main color for the roof. It should probably just a shade too dark. But it's right there in the family. That's what I usually can tell. I just look in the family going, if I cut this with white, is it gonna be pretty much there? Maybe yeah, pretty close. I'll take this color and it's a huge pile. It's a good pile of gray. I'm gonna probably take take a piece of that over here and make sure I put a little bit of blue, maybe more blue into it. So it's a blue has a blue side, All right? Just a little bit more for I can see blue compared to that pile. That show up. That's blue. That's a little bit grayer. Okay, and then do over here. Just put a little bit of Venetian in it. Very little Venetian. I put Venetian in there, and that thing will shoot. Come really, really strong. And that I'm also going to be able to use this in 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 coordination with any of these grays and stuff to help build uh, some interest in this, this side of the building and stuff. Because yeah, this is gonna be probably a lot of the basic tone of the building. But these guys here, only these grays here, even when I put them in the roof, I'll have a lot left over. And with wet into wet, I should be able to get some real interesting age effects going on here and stuff. So that's why I'm gonna make this a little more Venetian on that one. Okay, uh, since I'm right here in stuff, I have these same colors and stuff. I'm just going to go uh, just a little bit of Venetian, just to see, see how little I have to do here. Venetian and blue mix. And then cut it with a bunch of white. And I think this is going to get me into, I'm going to graze out a little bit here. This is gonna start getting me back into the mountains back in here already. Might be a little, see it's jumping out just a little bit. So let's, like I said before, we're gonna steal just a little bit of this, the mount, the cabin and throw it in a little bit of everything. I don't worry about those guys. But I'm gonna just throw it in this one, just, just to knock it down a little bit. All right, well, we got the, cabin colors we've got the mountain colors uh let's say we got to do uh we got some bricks here and stuff like that uh boy the, i'm gonna go with start again i'm gonna start with some just some a little scraping of burnt uh umber burnt burnt sienna or umber yeah this is burnt umber and then go with some um uh, mixing like double the amount of that against some ochre I want to see what this does. I think this cut with some a little bit of white will start getting me into these guys. Maybe not. Maybe it's a little more, a little more ah, burn number ish. A little bit more burn number, and then cut it with a little, a little bit of uh, white here to knock it down. Gray it up, knock it down. Try not to chalk out my colors. That'll get me in there. Maybe add just a little into it. A little what into it? I'm gonna add a little phalo into it. Okay. Phalo. Somebody has a car moving back there. Too much phalo went in that. <laughs> I thought phalo was so strong. Well, my uh, rock color has now become uh, tree color, in fact. <laughs> phalo is so strong, I'll have to put it over there. I, I can't fix that. That'll take all my paints to fix that, get that phalo out of there. So I'm going to go back one more time. That's just a little bit of phalo left over. I'm not going to play it half a mix of button anymore in. 
it says to just burn umber and blue and brown again or burnt sienna burn umber sorry burn umber just has a little bit of phthalo now into it and that'll be help me get down there this is going to be probably if i painted this you know it'd probably be a little boring the whole thing and stuff so you know i usually will cut it this is probably going to be too dark for everything so let's cut a pile just make this into a couple piles too again and uh let's try some unbleached white into one if you don't have unbleached white you can just add white and a little bit uh, burnt uh, sienna in it we'll do the same thing be close enough I want to have a one light one kind of with some of the rocks that stick out these guys I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in this one so I have a kind of a darker one Ooh, way too much okay so rocks done and now since I still got this color in my thing let's go right to the drive that's where I'm seeing it next Family-wise, this could go right into the drive and make it, but we're gonna make have to make it a little different than, than just uh, burnt umber, uh, burnt umber and uh, ochre. Let's try burnt umber and just cad yellow first. I don't. I want to stay a little bit away from this thing. It's gonna take some white in this thing too, and I'll be able to use, start using this color here. I'm just just starting to make it up, and it's gonna be you're gonna find it in some of the grasses and stuff too. So, uh, oh, well, I forgot about the the fireplace and stuff. So some of this can work in the fireplace. I'm probably gonna need some reds and stuff too. Then always work. Let's put some blue in there with this. So this is burn umber, cad yellow. And now I'm adding some blue into it. I'm trying to, I'm kind of thinking about these greens over here too. I'm supposed to be making uh, that the uh, drive, but I started talking. Grab blue, so let's just make. I'm thinking about that. Thinking about where else I can put this. So. Blue. Wow, what a big difference when you put that blue in. Yeah, it changes it, really. I mean, you can just see that's phthalo, and that's when you put blue into it. Yeah, and it, you know, it, it's little different. vastly changed. It's not just a little bit. It's it's hugely changed, that burnt umber and yeah. cad. Then when you put the blue in it, it's like, and it looks great. Thanks. Okay. Um, I'll go back to this original pile. See a lot of white. This is how much white I'm going to throw in here and just take about half that pile and throw it in here. I'm going to go for this grip, this area right here. I know it's going to calm it down. This white just going to wipe out half the color of it and so start getting me there. And if I look at that, I say, okay, that's just way, way too much color. It needs to be grayed down some more. So I stole from a pile. I would steal from a. I'll make might make green, but it's cool. Steal from a gray, gray it down or graying it down. Yeah, on the pile, but now start to gray it down. That and a little bit of white, more white. That's a good pile. Good pile. I'll be able to use that for a lot of stuff. You're gonna find you're gonna find this color probably in some some of this uh, some of that roof over here, or I mean bricks over here on the, on the fireplace and stuff. So. Which pile and did you start with be... to make that one, Jim? I'm sorry. Which pile did you start with to make that? I started with this pile. This is uh, burn umber and the yellow. yellow. Okay, I got it. And white. Yeah, all right. And then this, this is a lot more white added. But yeah, then I, I started it. going back. No, no, no. You can't ah. cut me off. 
Don't you dare cut me off. I'm sorry. This could be palate rage right here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this pile and start thinking about some of these other colors that are in this, this wash. If I can make three or four colors out of this pile. You know, I make a red one and I see some blue one, blue, blue areas here too. Blue grays. And they'll be in there. Just, you know, a couple couple nice brush strokes of color and stuff. You're gonna see it in going all the way up in here. All right. Uh, then we'll come back and we were gonna think about uh, this kind of a red in here, this a uh, lot of uh, dead leaves and stuff. And from last, from even from Saturday, I remember this color from Saturday. I was, was kind of surprised that uh, it worked so well. But it was so simple. It's just burnt sienna and white. Now, I'm just going to put it in this pile over here. Burnt sienna and white will get me so close to this dead leaf color. Just a little bit of white, not a you know, not too crazy, but it's going to get me right into there. Just start me there, and then I'll just be able to tone it in, you know, just add a little bit of greens in here from the other piles so it matches a little bit. It doesn't just jump out at you. You don't want anything to jump, jump out at you on your palette. You don't want anything that just says, you know, day glow and scream at me. You want, uh, you want them to hold together. So this color is pretty close already now. Maybe, you know what it needs. I'll take, split that pile. And I'm just gonna add some, I'm gonna add some glitter and crimson to it. And that, it's gonna get me right into these areas here. Cause that's kind of a cool red, running right around the edge of the driveway and stuff. And in the middle there, Stuff. So it's a cool red. Okay. So what I need now is to make come up with a, a color for the trees, basically the, the the trunks of the trees and stuff. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to use go back to my uh, phthalo, ugly phthalo color, and then cut it cut it with. Uh, almost 50-50 with glitter and crimson. 50-50 with glitter and crimson. So, oh, well, glitter is strong too. It's gonna be, you can't really see what color this is. You can just see, see, see it's kind of a purple gray here and stuff. Well, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave some of that over here too. <laughs> make sure I leave some of that. That's a nice color. You can, you can, maybe I can, you could use it for the windows or something else in here. Uh, I'm trying to keep, keep the colors down on this one. That's why I'm only a few colors for the darks up here. Or else I'd be making, pulling out the Venetian for everything and throwing it in. But I'm trying to stay away from Venetian a little bit for this one. Uh, so I'm going to just cut it with a little bit of white. It's going to make... Start making some gray. This is another blue gray. It's really nice. Might be able to find it somewhere in this house. I always like to see where else to use it. I know it's back in here. It's just a little bit too much. It's not going to be perfect back there. Let's tone it back. See, it's a little warmer than I have there. I like bunch of it. I mean, I like them. You know, like the distance. Blue in your uh, trees and stuff really cause a lot of distance. Uh, let's add just a little bit of uh, cat orange to this. Warm it up. So this is a lizard crimson blue, a little bit of white, or lizard crimson phalo. A little bit of white, and then, uh, and now I just put in some cad, cad orange into it. 
and that gets me the tree trunks. That's going to give me pretty much this mixed with more blue or white and stuff like that, backing up, you know, just a little bit of yellow, a little bit of uh, one of these color, street color or road colors mixed in. And, you know, I'll be able to get all the trunks, you know, lighten them up enough to get the trunks, do all these other things. Uh, the sky. Oh, one of the things I was going to talk about this day, looking at this, it's great. It's a gray day, right? One of the things you to think about the, you know, the concepts of uh, of uh, painting during the days and stuff, it's uh, sunny skies, you get blue shadows. Uh, cloudy days, you get red, you get red shadows, warm shadows. So cool shadows on, su on sunny days, warm shadows on gray days. Huh. That's a that's a little thing to kind of remember. You ever stuck? You would just think the opposite, the way it sounds, you know, like sunny should be warm and, and. The, the colors, yeah. Well, you can surely tell on snow, snow days. It really gives a big giveaway. Hmm. So I'm not making this stuff up, okay? I'm not. <laughs> it just seems like I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little more red in this. This is gonna be the sky color. This is I, I use uh, some of this blue again. <laughs> My little teeny pile of blue. I just go. I, I must. I must not need much of it. Um, but uh, that's gonna be. I took a little bit of that and cut it with white. Cut it with then I uh, came back and stole a little bit of red and stuff that start to work about the sky and stuff. I'm just gonna, they don't want it to be too, too bright. Maybe even go with it. I'm gonna put a little ochre into it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a little yellowish sky. That'll be better. Right now it's just white stuff. I wanna go just a little warm, more warmth in it. So it's gonna be a little bit of ochre, a little bit of lizard, a little bit of phthalo, a little bit of white. Probably a lot more white. At least I know the ma the max the magic there. Uh, mm. we've got, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep up. Okay, I have a big mess. <laughs> I want to mix up one more color for you then, and I'll be done. All right. But this is just the tree colors, some tree color just to start with. Just phthalo and cut with the uh, ochre. And I'm thinking about that for these uh, just back in there. It's going to be a, oh, there you go, finally. Oh, let's dig in there and get that phthalo to release. So it's starting to get there. Needs a, so I'm going to steal a little bit more, some of that brown, that uh, dry or leaf color there I made. Put it in here too and just kill off that green and stuff so it doesn't just like jump out at me and stuff I'll be able to use that there uh, these dark areas in here too I'm just gonna be able to use these guys so that's my palette any questions no no sir no yes it more like it no sir nope. <laughs> so I'll put it up here for you guys can see it. I'll come back here and flip it around, flip around here, get everything set up. All right, got the time lapse going. So we're going to be on camera. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to tone this, can I'm going to tone this camera canvas with uh, burnt sienna. No, no, sorry. Burnt umber. God, mixing these two up today. I want, because I want the cool gray feel. So I'm going to use my big brush. Big brush I have. And 
tone it down. I don't have to get too much in the sky here. I know where the sky is going to be. Jim, will you flip your camera? Oh, there you are. I got it. Never mind. I found no, it. No, 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 no. You're right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. Thanks for <laughs> coming in today, folks. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, and as you can tell, that's the drawing I'm going to be living with, too. No, I'm going to throw this baby down. Oh, boy. I need a little oil here to thin it out. Over. Is that a Kleenex? No, this is really expensive paper towel now. Oh, it used to be really cheap when I now that you can't even find them. Can you get can anybody get toilet paper yet? Yeah, I think you can get toilet paper pretty easy. You could do it. Yeah. My, my lady friend told me today, though, um, sh she lives up in um, Lake Geneva, Del like Delavan area in Wisconsin, and she said yeah. that, that their uh, meat markets are in the stores are cleared out. Everybody's doing the same thing they did with toilet tissue. Yeah, people with big freezers coming in to steal it, get all that stuff. They can't even buy freezers because people bought them all up. I don't know what they're worried about. Oh, man. They know, maybe they know something we don't, right? Yeah. The meat, yeah. The meat packers are all sick. Yeah, I know. That's true. But... They closed the meat packers in yeah. one of them in Green Bay. <laughs> So maybe that scared them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Just thinking about where the road goes, how that's going to go, and then see where I want, you know, I guess you got to work on this building and work this way back. I know we, I got to have a certain amount of space here. And the weird little thing is just, just the way it goes down here and stuff. Comes back out here. It's it. Don't worry too much about the the banisters and stuff like that. We're not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna grade on those. Unless you're Paul, then I'm gonna like then I'm gonna grade. From now on, he's getting graded really, really hard. No more of this easy going nice guy. The guy's been painting too painting way too good. Oh, I'm gonna pull this down for I can get get over here and see what I'm doing. I think Paul left to get something to eat, so I'm talking to myself. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I'm not even, just thinking about how that goes up there. Get that perspective right where everything goes back to one spot here. Uh, it goes down here. So this goes down here. Way on here. So it goes to probably right here. So that's the thing, easy thing about this one. It's just pretty much one perspective here. Everything goes back to the same point. So from that point, anything horizontal always is going to go back to that point. Even the, even the brick, the things that basically is going to go back. If you do that, you're basically almost guaranteed that it's going to look okay, you know. And and being this being like an old uh, cabin and stuff, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of. Uh, leaning and stuff is to be expected and, and probably in a, in a good way. So 
think about that too when you do it. You know, just a little bit of lean to the to the thing, or you know, just a little sway to the to the roof and stuff is uh, probably more desirable to think about. It's always one of the things when I'm, you know, when I start doing these things, is to really kind of remember that to do that. You know, don't get caught up in the total drawing of it being correct and stuff, but sometimes think about uh, what's, what it has to do. do. So, I mean, you know, basically it's just this, this, you know, I can't. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You got a cold? No, no, just sneezing. Hay fever or snake, whatever we got going now? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I liked your uh, photos from your, did you, is that a recent walk you guys went and did? Oh, yeah, yeah, two days ago, out in the woods, you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, oh, there's all kind of places like that around here. Wow. That's very, I, scenic, very scenic, very nice. You, you could paint one. I was thinking about doing that and surprising you on one of these days and doing that. Yeah, yeah do it, do it. I made them public so you can share anything you want. Yeah? Uh-huh. There we go. You guys all heard her. Yeah. You see? Ah, yeah, you're, you're stuck now. Oh, do it. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, we'll, I'll get we'll some see. more tomorrow, too. Brody and I are going out in the okay. woods. Okay. All right. I know. I know. We got. I got some good stuff. You guys send in, send in some good stuff, too. Uh, I got something. I think, uh, well, she's not here tonight, but Lynette's uh, cousin sent some stuff from from Seattle and stuff and so there's some pretty nice harbor scene from there. I was thinking about doing two next week and then uh, uh, you know then then I was going to think about yours okay. something like that for the week after. Cool. Thinking about it. Hey thinking. Keep thinking. <laughs> I thought it was in Alaska. Maybe I, I have something from my visit up there this year. There you go. I'll look I'll yeah. look in my I'll look in my camera. Yeah, it's always fun. It's just fun sometimes to paint. Uh you know, I'm I'm searching, I'm always finding stuff. I mean it's no I got loads and loads of stuff to dig up. But you know, sometimes it's better to paint something that you guys are more interested in more personal to you and stuff. Some, that's that's always interesting to do. Yeah. Okay. So the trees go back up here. The house goes here. I lifted it up just a little bit, make sure it wasn't too too perfect. I'm I'm gonna use try to use a lot of this dark in here and stuff, you know, to help me out when I start painting the grays. Yeah. So that's just gonna shove Let's keep that loose. Start getting my, start putting in some of these darks pretty quickly. So you guys all got it drawn in, sort of? You guys are? I sketched it on a paper. I'm just taking notes today. Me too. Oh. I'm, I'm going to paint tomorrow. Me too. Because oh. that mixing, I, I forgot how to mix and everything. Holy crap. Well, but, I feel I'll after after class, you know, I'll send you. You can you, you can have the video of this thing too, and uh, you know, if that you ever get lost, you can see what I was doing. You can slow it down and yeah. get, you know really dig into yeah. it. But yeah, yeah, yeah that the mixing. What I try to do is just kind of just you know take it from one color to the next without you know seamlessly without you know stopping and making a, a brand new color instead of just taking the colors and just seeing how how they gradually uh, go from one color to the next. Yes. Uh, and but that's it's where helpful, you know, it's really helpful what you do. It's just that uh, I'm slow, I'm still slow with it. Oh, yeah, I've well, for you know, so long. Yeah, well, I've been doing it for a little bit. Kind of like, it's my shtick. What am I going to do, right? Okay. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys next week when you guys get here and uh you know, that's not even funny. I I like those like burnt umber or burnt sienna sketches. 
<laughs> I do too. I don't mind them at all. I mean, it's so refreshing. Just simple. You get the idea of what you're after, and that's it. Well, thanks. That's also what I was trying to do here is too. Is trying to. That's why I was talking about putting it in dark enough and stuff because because uh, I want some of this stuff just to you know. Uh, blend in with the next color then the color I got to put on top so the other colors are mixed and so that's also a great way to get harmony in your paintings it's always the big word is harmony get harmony color harmony color harmony and uh, you know trees go there but I'm gonna want to paint the trees in too early uh, but this is a really great way to get that you know help out with that Just a little bit of that in there, and then the rest is gravel in here. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I'm going to start putting in paint. I'm going to paint paint my darks first. So I'm going to start with this the roof here, and inside here the guts. I'm not going to worry, like I said before. Not don't even worry about the the uh, banisters. Yeah banisters and stuff and all that stuff. Let's just put this in. Knowing that I'm going to, and what I'm, that color there, yeah, that was the, oh, that was burnt umber, yeah. This is burnt umber and blue I just put in there. Now I'm gonna go with burnt sienna and blue. Next, going down a little bit. I mean, dragging this down. And the thing is, just remember, you know, wherever you, where your lines are and stuff, where you got to stop on here for, for your little, like I said, a little bit of sway is always pretty good. No big deal. Painting it over a little bit, over painting just a little bit. Maybe we'll put a rocker or something in this thing. That's probably what it needs. I'm going to go back now and just put a little bit of cad red into that dark I just put up put here because I want to put that doorway in but this is the thing is you've got to be able to see you want to see inside the this uh, this cad uh, cabin and stuff you know cad red will take you right inside that doorway Except so now you can see in there, and like all of a sudden there's something to see in there. There's a couple windows and stuff too. I'm just gonna block, put squares in right now. They just have a little bit of cad red into this color. Oh, there's one right here. I probably don't have to put it in now. Uh, all right. That way, I want to put some of my darks in too. Just here's a couple cracks right here and on this other side underneath the porch and stuff. And overpaint these guys just but to make sure the place uh, that uh, does get it, does get this color and stuff, it's, it's, you get it heavy in there. But everything else can be kind of light and just over, over painted a little bit. Get that color going. I really want to get a little bit more into here. This is the fun stuff. This is like the stuff that really, for me, holds the painting together. Is these darks right here I'm putting in the stuff. They're like the whole uh, cement work of this thing. Uh, I'd like to put it go in here and just put in a few more like uh, little things like that, and you know, go ahead and start putting in some of this stuff. But it's too too soon. Too soon. A little more dark right up there too. Just underneath, next to the edge there, there's a little bit. Uh, I'll put a little bit of that. I'm just gonna put it in over here too for this, this eaves. There's a little bit overhang there. Now, this one doesn't really doesn't get it on this one. There's a little bit of rickrack work there, but 
I'm not really gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna paint the Rick Rack, you know, stuff, how, all those holes and stuff like that, a little bit too much. So, put, put a little bit of, little bit of work there, not too much. And anywhere else you can go, I can put in more, some more dark red in here too while it's here. And Lisa, you see this one spot right here in the photo? There used to be a tree there, somebody cut it down. So in yours, can you put the tree in? <laughs> Just you, Lisa. <laughs> Just having fun. Just having fun. <laughs> Okay, this really cool little little spot right here too in this photo. photo. It's almost like a drop off. I mean, it, you can just see it. It goes right here, and then all of a sudden there's a, a tree right here. But you know, it just feels like it drops off. You know, straight down. Right. Yeah, and come right. home after a long day of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went out to the tavern and everything. We had a good old time. Yeah, we're not doing that today. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I got basically a lot of this stuff in. Let me tone this down a little bit more here. Paul, are you back? See, he's still not back. Too bad. Let's go on without him. He's going to regret doing that. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. He's going to regret feeding his family. <laughs> you believe that? Yeah. 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 Could you imagine that? You know? Yeah. So I'm just going to go. This is that gray, first gray I made up. It's a burn, burn, burn sienna blue and a lot of white cut into it. And with the burn number in here that's already just coated and stuff, what I want to do is I don't want to lose that. I want it to blend in. So if I push it lightly and drag it lightly across here and stuff, it's going to blend in here and leave some nice little marks. I'm just going to use my nut, big, big brush here. This is that big, expensive brush of mine. No. That's at size 12. I should put my name on. What's that? Is that size 12? <laughs> yeah, it's probably. Okay. Uh, it's a 14, I think. Wait, I don't even know. It's a new one, too. Huh. It's a one and a half, it says. <laughs> One and a half. It is that that uh, the, my Walmart special oh. uh, brush. But you look at what it can do. It is quite amazing. It has some uh, brand new, and it it holds this line like that. Yeah. Gives me that. Yeah, and it gives that's it really that. great. I mean, I got big expensive brushes, and they can't even do this. Huh. They yes, fall even. apart. Do you do you have, buy them in singles or a pack? They come two to a pack for three dollars. Get real. You know that's, that's even good the way it holds up um, in watercolor. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm I've always you know, you know you get them brand new and then I don't even worry about taking care of them either. It's just like. You know, if I d they go bad or something, then I use them for the underpainting, the scrubbing and stuff. And just, you know, you know, I use them for a while, you know, then get rid of them. I don't, they're, they're not like a, I, a great brush that you paid a ton of money for. So that's what I like. So, in yeah, theory, it's so beautiful oh, already. Yes. It just covers it up so easy. Yeah. So I add wow. Just a little bit of those grays I mixed up before and just, you know, start to get some of this work in here done. Um, I'll put in the, since I got my brush here and stuff. Big brush. I'm gonna go go back to my dark darks. I made up the burn number, and this is burn number in blue. 
So paint that whole window kind of dark for now. Maybe just tone it back just a hair here and there. Another one here. Put that guy just a little stronger at the bottom. Uh, over a little bit. Okay, good enough. Now I can go back in. That very dark red with a little bit of that has just a little bit of dark red, or, uh, uh, not red, uh, cad red into it. And I go back in and just get these guys one more hit there. I'm not going to worry about the framework too much. I got that. I just lighten those guys up. I'm going to lighten up the inside and I'm going to go use the same color I used here. But what it will do, just because of the darkness around it and stuff, should do all right but i'm just going to go with a different stroke too i'm not going to look a little different i'm not going to worry about too much of the stuff on the porch yet it's really a light stroke so everything mixes i'm not overdoing it Okay. We'll see about putting on the porch and stuff or otherwise. Put it in just a little bit more. Just a little red into it. Back in there. All right, building is starting to very show. Might as well go, uh, if I start painting this, I'm gonna probably take me right into the road and stuff. So, and into this, and into, and into this brickwork too. So I might as well get going with that. I'm gonna paint it probably at least the sides first. I'm gonna go with just a little bit of green into them. I like, I think that uh, flagstone, you know, the way it ages, looks a little bit of red in, in there and stuff. But uh, maybe I'll just see how much, how much I can let loot, not paint. And so I'm gonna come back in here and use it just to start, start the paint here. So, Like I like transparencies in these paints too. I mean the transparencies of uh, letting that dark underneath and then just be grabbing just pieces of it and pulling them down and stuff. Really, just that's where that's where the one of the big keys of these paintings. It's not you know, it's not messing around too much, not over uh, over brushing and stuff. That's the one of the things the I see a lot of, uh, and it's, I do it, everybody does it, just over, uh, over brushing. And for me, it's just like I keep going. I start talking, I start thinking, and I just, you know, I could be done with these things in an hour, but, you know, I have to keep them going for at least two and a half. So, you know, you guys, you guys paid paid big bucks for this. <laughs> so when I'm when I do when I do a lot of brick work like this or thinking about brick work and stuff like that, I'm not trying to paint every brick. I'm giving you the idea of the bricks and you fill in the blanks. 
That's that's the key thing to do. If I can make you fill in the blanks and I did a good job, you know. And if Paul was here, he'd agree with me. But since Paul's gone, I'm gonna start talking nasty about him. He's not I just him. came back. Oh, see, 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 he can't even show up. I, I got a I'm sorry, I got a work call and I got pulled away. Oh, see, so he I, always uses that. I missed he all the fun. That big excuse all the time. Gotta make money. Well, you can I talk nasty me. about me if you need to. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul. What? Are, <clears throat> apologies, I got pulled away into a project, so it's sorry. Oh, no worries, no worries, buddy. <laughs> just, <laughs> just having fun, you know. <laughs> I'm painting. I gotta. I gotta say something. I gotta keep go. Keep the routine going. You know. And you were part. You're part of my routine tonight. So. Uh, well, I'll be. I'll be your fall guy. That's all right. That's what, uh, Yeah. I gotta throw. Who am I gonna go to? I gotta go to. Throw it to Paul. That's right. Okay. Uh, I'm just. I'm just watching because I'm just. I'm not gonna be able to catch up. So I'm just watching. No way, Paul. Come on. <laughs> I can. Yeah. I. I basically didn't do much yet. I'm using my big brush for everything. Nice. Right. You know, keeping it simple as possible. Um, I used, I give you a quick rundown. I put burnt sienna in first, threw it in really well, made sure I got some darks in here. Uh, then painted my darks, darks underneath the, the uh, porch and stuff and, and into it. Uh, this is burn number in here, and this I'm going on the side, burnt sienna blue. Then I use my uh, burnt sienna and blue and white mix for the for the house. And so and a little bit of phalo, a little bit of phalo green in there. On the, a little bit of phalo green got in there, probably. On the uh, chimney. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did get that was the, that one uh, color I made before. Yeah, it got in here a little bit. Thank you. No worries. Now you know. You know. No, no more excuses. Play like a champion. <laughs> okay. This is that roof. You know, I'm gonna put some, put a little sky in this roof too because you know that's gonna be show up. So all the light stuff in this roof is gonna be. A, this tin roof here is going to be all from uh, the sky. So let's give this thing a little sway too. So just a couple strokes down and up. Now I put go back and put one darker gray, maybe a little blue into it. I can hear that crease in the metal right there. Bring, bring this out, it'll be a little darker. That's what I wanted. Just a couple little things here to break up the roof. Later. Okay, that's enough for that. The windows are just going to be a couple dabs and dots. You know, I'm just going to take my brush and you know create, create this kind of stuff with it when I get there. So if I don't get it in there, you guys know what I'm going to do. I just use the edge of my brush and just you know touch the edges and stuff of the and make all the stuff. I'm really taking it slow because I could be done with this painting by now. <laughs> I'm slowing myself down. Slow down. Uh, the fun part right in here again, I'm going to go back into now is some of this brick work. And I was talking about uh, flagstone work and stuff. It's not to paint every one. This suggests the big thing. So basically, what I'd look in here is. I look for highlights and stuff of, 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 of those things. And if I, I want to hit those guys first, 
you know, basically I have all the midtones come my darks already in here. So I just want to hit a few of these big highlights first, and then uh, then not do quite as many of the un other ones. So, so it's just a few spots here. And then there'll be, then I'll go back maybe with one more color or something and pull out a few of these other ones. I'm now going to get this, do a couple steps here too. Yeah, you're probably not going to work too well. All right, let's get in. Think about this right now. Get rid of my paint that's on my, my brush. And just rough this in, just give them, get me going to the next color. And that was going to be this kind of a putty color. It goes right in here. What color was that? So yeah, it's real warm right down in here. So I'm just going to brush that in. It can be pretty thin. There'll be some uh, some purples and stuff going probably over that too sometime, I would think. Knowing me, there should be some purples going across it sometime. Then I'm gonna take this up, up and around too, because this this has a little bit of phalo I think in it. I think this is the one color I was saying has trouble with my head. Put phalo into it. And, Very thin right now. Everything's pretty thin still. It'll build up pretty quickly, but I just want to get, get this thin. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of the leaf going in, beating back. I should have put it up and put it in with the, a little darker first. Go darker and then come back. And then think about it on the sides. Okay, let's keep going. A little burnt uh, matting, just a little, just a little bit of burnt uh, umber to the color too. This is the uh, color I made up uh, for the leaves. It's just burnt sienna and, and uh, white. And then uh, I then I cut the pile and I made it put in a little. Uh, uh, a lizard into it, right? And then uh, now I just started putting it in and I could feel it was too light. So, and I wanted to knock down the color a little bit because it was just a little too, uh, too, too bright for that area. So I just thought, you know, I'll use a brown. So I'll use the, the I'll use, uh, I had some burnt, Umber here, so I just added that to it, and then I'll oh, work out. That's that's definitely the under colors going back here. That's some of the basic guts to this underbelly under of this of that. Lisa, how's your tree coming? You put in that tree yet? Not yet. That's gonna be the end. Okay, good, good. You got to show it to it. I want to see. I want to see how that tree turns out. Right now, I'm painting the tornado in the distance. Oh, you're back here already? It takes the, yeah, I'll take that off. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Dorothy in there? Doing the disaster, putting the trailer park in. Oh, oh, are you? Oh, yeah, you would, you would. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just going to work some of this color back in here a little bit. There's a few spots here. I'm seeing it that it could work and bring it back. As it goes back, it's working out really well because it's dying out in color and stuff as it goes back here. You just see a few spots here I can put it to. Yeah, You're right here in the, this one uh, fascia board here under the front. 
just has a little bit of that in there too. Mm -hmm. I like the transparencies. I like to have transparencies in your paints and stuff, your darks and stuff. So you're just a little, a little runny. All right, well, I'm gonna start back in here, I guess. Let's get this thing blocked in. And I'm gonna go back. There's a lot of color in here. This is, has just a little bit more blue in it than, uh, than uh, this. I mean, this is just burnt sienna and blue and white. I probably should have some Venetian in it, but I'm really gonna try to let, like, still, again, let some of this, uh, background and stuff do 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 the work for me even into the trees back here let a lot of that stuff show through maybe I might, might not even paint the sky it's always an idea Boy, bring this down make sure we straight down I'm going to put that mountain back there. Actually, this might be too bright. <laughs> uh, that's the color I mixed up, but let's tone it back down. It's supposed to be soft anyway. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. Yeah. I got trees going over it anyway. I'm just not going to be that bad. Okay. Let's go up to the greens, start getting the dark back here underneath. I always like to get uh, back in here. I want to get the darks in underneath again before I, before I put the green topper color on. I always like to put the, get the darks in there. I'm going to hold this and it's going to fall. So I'm going to go back with my burn umber and blue mix. And I'm just going to put it in just a little stronger back in here. Let it off a cap and put a little bit of that hope, that red from the leaves and stuff up here at the very top to blend out. Yeah, it'll work. Maybe a little bit of orange or ones over here. This is more uh, bird sienna blue mix right here. That's going to work out. I think it's going to work out pretty well. There's a bunch right in this one spot here. Very thin, which is cool. I mean, it's working out thinly. Sometimes paint doesn't have to be put on too thick. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go back and just keep putting in some of these greens and stuff in here. Just what I don't, what I want to do uh, is blend them in here a little bit, but I want to keep some of this uh, canvas showing through. So when I do put these greens in, you know, they're more like spots and they drag in. Work it in slowly. That's what I guess I'm trying to say. Just don't just shove it in there. And probably let a lot of the stuff that's going to blend in and uh, work. Okay. 
सकता है Just going down here. So everybody's going to rush off to Walmart for this brush, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> no more for you. That's it. Hey. She's in Pennsylvania. I have no worries. Oh. <laughs> wow. What else are we going to talk about? This, this show is almost done. No. The thing about this, this would probably be uh, a lot of little thing details that are going to go in here and stuff. I want to be able to uh, spend time on that, the detail parts. Do you have special lighting at home? Uh, special lighting here? Yeah. Uh, no, I got a fluorescent above my head. That's probably causes all this cast uh, glare and stuff. But I, I have just uh, natural daylight tubes in them. Oh, natural daylight, yeah. Yeah. I gotta yeah. get something. They're not expensive, so it works out okay. You can get them over at, you know, just get them at Home Depot. They're fine. And uh, how's that looking? Is that giving me the depth I want? I want to get a couple of reds in here. Okay, a little greens in here. Uh, why don't I just put in a couple, uh, start putting in a couple of these. Well, I was going to, I hate that put in the tree. I'll put in some of the trunks and stuff. You know. I thought you were going to do the sky first. I, I know. I was thinking about that too. But I'm thinking about it. I might not even paint the sky. That's where I was going. Oh. Uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be you know I just want to get I can go between these. I won't put in all the branches. Maybe that'll light me up. Keep me from uh, going crazy and putting in all these branches. Well, the sky looks uh, pretty the way it is, but yeah, because yeah, it's and it's the, paint. That's paint. So yeah. it can be, you know, it can be considered done. So I'm not, and I'm just using right now, I'm using that uh, color mix of, of uh, Lizard and Crimson and, uh, and, blah, 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 blah. what is it? Phthalo green, cut with uh, cut with a little bit of uh, white. Not dark enough, but it's going to give me the ba base where I'm going to go. Put them in just a little bit darker here and there. They're pretty gray anyway. You know, a couple of them crisscross a little bit. And then what stops right there. That's it for pretty much everything else. Everything else is just little little guys. Thinking about anything back in here, I gotta put in, get it in now. I wanna get all this, you know, this kind of little edge stuff in now. Cause I wanna, I'm gonna be covering up this area here pretty soon. Let's make sure I got everything in that little area done. Put in a couple little trees here and here. This is starts. There's a light, big light right, right here. Let's put it a little closer to that guy. Oh, 
I guess always one of the things to remember about trees is they get thinner as they grow taller and stuff. So it's thicker at the bottom, thinner. Pretty much not a, you know, probably know that. But anyway, it's always a help to reinforce it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to paint the, I'm, that's going to be one of the things that the, I can do at the end. That's why I'm not going to do a lot of the major stuff here and just put in a few of these things here. I like the transparencies that are happening here. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of work. Um, just make, making sure that these guys right back, oops, sorry right back in here, have a little more red in, into them too, just a little more, uh, uh, this is uh, basically that leaf color I made up earlier, the burnt sienna and stuff. I'm just gonna use that mixed in with some of these other dark grays I have going. And just put, a, put in a couple lines here. Okay, good enough, we don't wanna do any more there. Over here, we got the tall ones going in here. And a couple, they're really long. Break them up a little bit. I always try to create, think of a pattern and stuff that, you know, big one, little one, farther away, big one leanings and come back and say smaller one you know so are you, you don't about, get are you thinking about edges at all jim sorry right now yeah no these are really i am using the edge of my brush and mm -hmm. uh so it is not uh really they're creating a soft line anyway okay these guys might get a touch but I think back in here, I don't think I'm going to do too much. I think these guys are all going to be pretty light. There are a couple of ones over here that go back in. And that's it. That is it. Maybe a leaning one here. Might lean a little bit more. All right. Uh, put the green in. That should really help it out. I'm going to go with the kind of a the oak, ochre, and uh, phthalo mix. And I'm going to put it right here behind. It's kind of a darker green. So I'm going to put it right around this edge of this built the part of the cabin right here. Let's lean that cabin in a little bit at the back here. And put the green back up. Softer as I go, maybe even down when I drag it down here, just drag it off, drag the brush off and let it, let it blend. I don't have to do too much work. Then I'm going to go with a little bit of lighter uh, green. This one has just a little bit of sky in it. And that's going to go back in this patch. Oh, sorry. This patch back here. I think I can put this guy back up. I don't think I'm going to, you know, back in here, I just... Not gonna do much. I just put an X. So whenever I paint these things, I look at them as a shape, and I just recreate the shape. I'm not trying to think about too much of the branches yet. I'll, I'll make it a branch later. I just want to see the paint come off into the squares in the way they should be. I think I'm gonna also gonna put in this little bush over here since I got green on my brush. Easy to put put it in. Yeah, I don't know. 
see, it's getting harder and harder to think about putting in a anything like the sky now because I'm getting all these soft edges and stuff already done. And, um, but I can always do it. It's so if that's the beauty of oil paints, you can always do it, right? Right. Right. You never. You don't have to be finished with it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and go back over here. Put it in a, that bush right there. I think that bush is kind of important as a kind of a stop because it's dark in this corner. Instead of drift, people drifting back in your painting and going off the edge here, that they will, you know, dark thing like this going straight up and you know a post or anything like that also helps signal almost in your in the mind viewer's mind it signals to stop, you know, not to go any farther to come back. That, you know, and it's very subtle to do it. But I, you think about it all, you got to think about those things. You really get get into painting. It's how to get, get these guys to stop a little bit more in your painting. There we go. Just a little bit of these grays now into, into this brick. Love this little black spot. I don't want to touch it anymore, so I'm just going to work my way around. And that's what you do. You find I fall in love with little teeny spots in my painting, and I try not to touch them again. So I work diligently over around them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to start putting in now. All the tough stuff's done. I'm just going to start putting in some of this uh, fun, fun stuff, right? It's all fun. Brick rack stuff. I'm not going to put any brick rack in, but I'm going to put in, you know, little, you know, little things that will make that kind of make these things jump. I'm not sure if I'll put in a, a anything else too much up here. And I was talking about putting in a uh, maybe a chair or something, but the way this stuff goes across it and stuff, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. And I can't really see one in there anyway. There is some nice wood things going on here. Looks like I got a chopping block right in here, and some some pieces of wood here. I'll put those things in. I'm, I think everything else is going to be get a get a little heavy real quick. So I'm gonna let's just put in the post. It goes in the corner here, corner post. So it goes from here up to that meeting those. Being not perfect is almost better than being perfect. I mean, I could have put that in with a knife and I probably would have been, been fine. But I can put it in just a light, just big, you know. Now that a new one of these, yeah. It has the edge, it has its new. I can do it. So I'm just going to put in a few more. Oops, not dark enough. Have more cad red in. A little oil. Red. Flatten my brush, brush it out a little bit. Touch it. This is one of the key things. This is one of one of the things that I learned in my this workshop I took over the summer with that Kali Winson. Is the edge of your brush is just putting it straight down, barely touching the canvas, and bring it straight up. Instead of pushing it down or pushing it to the side, you take it straight up, somewhat like a dash. And, uh, 
that was, yeah, he was doing it so well. Huh. A little bit of that. And the bricks down here a little bit more. This is the edge of the, there's a couple steps here that are coming up. And I'm just gonna put, put, indicate them, indicate, indicate. All right, so putting in some more guts. Still got that dark on here, I'm just gonna put a, a little bit more line right underneath and that's just enough to you know be the overhang here all right now all I have to do is all this post post the, the going across this that thing is uh, thing about this is right here is just making sure that you got the perspective, keep going in the right same perspective as you did everything else and stuff. So this kind of almost has to split this stuff here. And it's just using, using this thing going bang, boom, boom. Just follow the line going down. Here, yeah, there's a lot of little these things here. Um, and uh, here, I'm just using some of the tree color from over here. And I'm just going to bring it in for these balusters just to make them stand out. Go. Might have went over. So just take your finger and just push them back. Okay. Might have to go back in one more time and hit the hit the big poles just one more time now. That's about that. That'll work. Okay. Now I've done pretty much everything. Well, I've done everything with this big one brush so far. And I tell you where you guys can get this brush again at jameswanson.com. brush, But it does everything in your painting. Jim, are you going to post the uh, brand name of that brush? And not for you. Out? Hell, not for you. Oh, hey, don't do it. Don't do it for me. I'll just, I'll just, uh, you know, <laughs> look up, just look over the shoulder of some other, someone else when they get it. Yeah, yeah, right. Don't tell me that. You're going to beat me to it. You're going to get me a, get. You're going to get get there. And there's, be, they'll all be gone. Walmart <laughs> will be sold out. Yeah, you're gonna go to every Walmart in the state and buy them out. No. <laughs> Did you see my my soap arrive? I ordered Dove bars uh, from our. Uh, yeah, how those taste? Our gross grocery delivery, <laughs> and we were excited for those chocolate Dove bars, and they sent us Dove soap. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jim enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know how your kids put up with it. What'd you get? What'd you end up doing? You didn't say. Oh, they were so they were so disappointed. I bet. 
it's a pandemic. We need our treats. Yeah, exactly. So did you go out? No, go we, just got, we, we just got a good laugh out of it. And now we're, yeah, my daughter baked a cake instead. Oh, uh, see. Plan B. <laughs> Plan B. You got it made, buddy. <laughs> she do. We need dope chocolate bars. Yeah, who needs those doggone? Screw them. They can't. They shouldn't have stole that name in the begin with, right? That's right. That is hard to believe they did that. <laughs> That's Isn't that classic? That is a classic. You know. You're going to go down and for folklore or something like that with that one. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, I'm going to just going to put in a few things here for some of those things and then think about going in here and I'm going to have to change brushes. I'm going to have to dirty up another brush. And I'm not sure if I'd like that idea, but I'm going to have to do it. I don't like it. Uh, before I do, I'm going to put in this gravel. Oh boy, that! Oh boy. <laughs> we learn a lot watching you fix that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always, always faithful. There we go. You know what? Yeah, I pay watercolor, happy. so it's mistake unless proven otherwise. So. I no, it was the right color. It just didn't come off the right. But the thing about beautiful thing is I can keep wiping off my thing here. I'll just push it right back into place. I can, it's not going to be too bad. I mean, there's still some happy accidents. That's what this is going to be. This is going to be a happy accident here. Right. There it goes. In fact, it will probably be one of the more interesting parts of the painting that all it seems like it always happens to me too like I'm just gonna bring it up around here just give that edge edge of that thing and just bring in some purple into the start bringing some colors into these dead areas and stuff bring some blue grays and stuff plenty of blue grays I mixed up so this one so I should have enough to put in here. Now I can fix this up with just adding a few grays like that in there, blending in a couple strokes. All right. Uh, Let's finish. Uh, I'm going to go back into the windows. I guess I'm just flip for and then do some wood wood paneling here on this thing. Go about halfway here. Just put a dash and a dash. Yeah, it's going to be too big for most of the stuff. Anyway, I got, I'm going to go to my next brush. I'm trying to do everything with one brush, but I'm going to have to cut back down and go to an eight. I got, I got to do the, let's do a little bit of work here doing that brush is going to be not getting there for me anymore. But I want to get a few things in, in here, you know, draw a few different colors into here, lighten it up. And these are the gray, other grades I mixed up for, uh, where did I mix them up for? The road? No. I'm gonna put a little bit lighter ones into this warmer gray, there's little cooler ones here and there. Uh, at the last thing I'll do is probably go around here and just put the a little bit of trim here. Not too bright, not too bright.
It was pretty cold out today, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> I was cold. It Why? was a change, wasn't it? Yeah. To do yard work. Ugh. At least if you were moving, though, you were warmer. Yeah. You Just standing there walking the slow dog was not good. <laughs> the slow dog. Is he that slow? Or she? She just has to sniff and she's oh, late okay. and she gets hot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. My guy was sniffing too like crazy. Yeah, the rolling too. So some good smells must be coming up. Yeah. He, he's like, uh, yeah, he's like, he's never, well, he has never smelled anything before. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So, yeah, so everything's a whoa, wait a second. What is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. That's a dead worm. I'm, I got that one. Yeah, well, they like, uh, yeah, he really liked uh, uh, mulch. Somebody, you know, put oh, a, that's all the new mulch going in. He just has to smell, stand there and, and, and smell it. You know? mm -hmm. So he loves that's that. That's a job, though, right? He's got the retriever nose. Yeah, yeah, he does. You know, except for the tree, retriever part we've been working on. <laughs> I love the, the, the what with the puddle in your yard. That was hysterical. <laughs> How old is he now? He's before months. Oh, little baby. Yeah, he is. You know, I got the I got the neighbor kids. You know, they're. Uh, Come over and they run with them because I can't I can't run That's with them. Priceless. Every, yeah. Keep twisting knees and stuff every time I run with them. So they come out and they they can run fast. And he keeps thinking he's really fast, but he can't keep up with the kids. <laughs> yeah. He will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. So I'm putting in this wood. I'm gonna put in a couple wood things here. They're just indications again, the things back here. So a lot of times indications are good enough to get you by. Uh, gonna put in, there's this, this one thing right, right here. I don't want to cover up too much of the door. But it's just a, just, just a square. Square on one side to make it square and one a little darker on this side. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. There's a couple of things else. That's just probably going to change that color a little bit. Too much like the other one. Okay. Then I'm going to go in and do what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, Thinking about putting in these guys, that brush was just too big, too big for that. Just touch these guys down, straight up and straight down. Almost too much. Uh, too much information. I'm going to go back in and put in the, put a little bit of framework in now. You put this in, just keep it simple. I could put them in with a just a straight vertical stroke, mostly, you know, going straight down. But I've been finding that becomes more of a highway and just kind of zooms past what I want. So, so if I just take my time and just go around a little bit more like this, it seems I get more in interesting things happening than just doing a line. 
if I do a line, I'll go back and just do little ones. So you guys are getting all kinds of good stuff from me tonight. Mm -hmm. I tell you. We are. Oh yeah, you guys see? You guys. Anyway. We got front seats. <laughs> hey, Paul. I was gonna say I really liked your horse. You did a great job on that horse. Yeah, that was uh, really oh, nice. That was really nice. Thank you. Appreciate I that. Liked, I like the way you handled the color and stuff too. I like uh, limiting it a little bit more than I did. Mine got kind of a little red. Well, you got me over my. Uh, um, uh, I truly, I've not touched like drawing a horse in years because I just I tried it like years ago and I it just was crazy, <laughs> difficult. So you got me over my uh, hump. Try it. Just like that. He's over the hump. See? <laughs> well, good. You know, now, now just don't do any more horses again. Ever. Ever. I'm never doing another one. <laughs> I don't want to see any more horses from you. It was really pretty, Paul. Very, really nice. Oh, thank you. Ruined my self-esteem. No. I'm waiting for yours. Where's yours anyway? Mine, Lisa? Yeah, Lisa Ooh. mine. Oh, I'm it's sitting here. I haven't done anything with it. That's what I figured. I'm waiting. Where's uh, Karen tonight? Yeah, where is she sleeping? Can't stay up late. Who knows? I did invite her, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna put in a couple of these thin little lines here and stuff and just let them do the rest figure in the patchwork here. A little dark. Oh, I like that better. You like that better now? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little too dark. That burnt, uh, was that burnt umber? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was like too solid. Yeah, yeah. It was going to be, I, I did. Anywhere else you want to tell me now before I keep going? <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, you know, I, I aim to please. Any other spot? <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> no, you're fine. That's care. You know, I it's 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 fun to paint with the uh, yeah, interaction and having people, you know, say something and stuff. So usually I do all this stuff, and you know, no one's. No one sees it until I put it in, like put it up on Facebook or something. I don't know how you talk and paint at the same time or talk and teach. It'd be very hard. Yeah, that's right. What? Yeah, I don't know how I do it now. This is now now you've forgotten my head. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like how how you could think like I could imagine how you answer somebody but not to think of subjects to talk about and you're painting and deciding what colors to put on at the same time that's all i do is tell i just let you i'm i'm uh you know i can't help it i just that's just <laughs> that comes out of me naturally the talking to yourself i talk to myself <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, I'm that guy on the bus, you know, who just huh. <laughs> sits there. You don't want to sit next to because he's talking to himself. <laughs> Sorry, I got to kick on myself sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, just gonna go back in and put put some fancy stonework in 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 this thing here and just 
start start to age this side up. Now I'm just going to pretty much work well most of the painting here. I mean, there it's, there's some little you know branches and stuff that are going to go in here and stuff. A couple goes off here and stuff, but nothing too much. Just little twigs add add in. But so I'm going to go back over here and think about putting in, making sure I got some nice little. Uh, brick work here or stone work. Just going back on this dark side of this thing, it gives it the dimension and stuff. Now, when we leave you, do you still work on that? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I won't. You know, it depends tonight and stuff, you know, how I feel, you know, but I might put in another couple hours into it really for all the, all the finish work. That's usually what I happen, have been happening. They like taking another hour or two to, you know, just to, you know, correct, color correct some things and stuff. Think about them, you know, live with a fresh eye you coming in and stuff. I don't get a fresh eye right now. I just gotta, you know, I just go for it. You really, you know, do need to take one more look at it. Like doing those horses really kind of, they were, I, when you're done, you think they're, yeah, they're real, don't, they're good. They're, you know, they're, and then you come back the next day and you look at them and you start to see drawing problems that just jump out at you. You know, and then you feel depressed, but at least, you know, yeah. bad feeling like I did something good. So that's just the way it is, though. And then the next day, if you, if you, if you can make it work the next day, then you're fine. Now, usually find, find the thing that you did like in your painting. Okay, just gonna. Bring in a few more grains. Just soften this back up. Have Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was bugging you. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I was gonna knock it down. I just I put those. A lot of things I put in are almost like placeholders. Stuff. They're all meant. There's. It has about the right dark in there, but. Yeah, you know, it might need. It might. It just needs a little pushing on pushing around. But I got another yay. I'm. I'm, just, I'm pretty good. That's you know. I'm gonna go back in. I gotta get over here a little bit, where I can see what's going on with this. This a little bit. That thing. is gorgeous. Very gray, very a lot of grays. I'm going to go back in and put that dark in. Now, don't cross it out. A couple lines there. Pretty simple. See, guys, pretty simple. Are you finished with the green tree in the middle? Which one? This one? No. Oh. Back there? Yeah. I'm going to brush it out just a little bit. Maybe maybe just a little bit more of my finger even. Just to soften these other things. Why? Would you, you, did you think it was done? I was wondering. Like, you know, it's pretty solid. Usually you don't leave things solid like that. Like right there in that big spot. Like a lot of green. Yeah. There is a darker green in there, but thank you. Oh, yes, I'll, I was going to touch that. Now that we're talking about <laughs> Now, I'm going to just hit a few goofy little things, lines in here to bring me to bring this some interest over here since I'm leaving uh, Lisa to draw the tree in. in Which 
in there, then she's going to let me see if it works. If it works, then I'll put it in. But Which I'm not tree do it. No, the one that got cut down. We got to put it in. I have to just make that up. Yeah, I just want to wait see what you're going to do mm -hmm. first. I'm going to pretend that it was cut into a pile of logs for the fire. There, see? See? There's a couple more things going across here. I just wanted to finish. I got some blue grays here. I want to darken in a few spots here. And all I have to do is really hit, you know, one little couple, a couple of these. Start to get some depth here. It's just a little flat. I'm move this over here for now. So you guys can see it. Get it on my hand here. That is so okay. that's those trees. Uh, I'm just going to go put in the rest of this window. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Always an oops. Oops. Just just pushed pushed a little too hard. Like I said, I'm working from an angle here, so I'm just like Yeah, that's why I asked you. Do you touching, do anything? Yeah, else? when I get in front of it, then I can change some things because yeah. this angle here could be way off and stuff. It's beautiful. Sometimes, you know, like I said, one of the things that this uh, this uh, keeps me from doing is overpainting and stuff too. Sometimes I I have this, uh, you know, when I did storyboards back in the day, I knew you would have said I had, I had this bruised knuckle look. <laughs> well, other artists told me because <laughs> I just used to. Just overwork my work and overwork them, overwork them. <laughs> they got to be done. They're just like watercolors. You got to be able to do very simple. Jim was one of the colors. Jim was the best. I lived it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You guys all work together. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's really cool how you put those colors in that chimney and then onto the ground they the light. Just, yeah nice you just they just kind of go there naturally you don't have that's one of the things about this stuff is they they can go other places just by the color placement of you know putting it here and putting it against these colors and this going against some greens it changes it and stuff it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to do a special you know mix for every spot i mean yeah if you know life is you know our eyes which can do that but you know it's not the way we, we i don't know if i was like a super realistic painter yeah maybe that's what i do you know every every spot every spot of the painting would be a different color but that's just too much work and it feels like work. All right, I'm just working a couple worms into the side of the building a little bit more because I got a little bit of little beat up here. It's a little beat up. I want to just just clean it up a little bit. And these are just kind of this. Well, this is in fact this is the color I'm putting in now is back within the road. And so this probably has some burnt sienna and yellow and white into it. And I just wanted to work that back into a few spots. Blend out these guys together a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and do my final kind of little thing is with my knife. And uh, put in a few, a few of these boards just with, uh, you know, some paint. 
a little couple lines of paint. It should do it. We're at nine already, just like that. Perfect timing. Just the time, time to do the right thing. Finish this thing up, right? That's what it is. Don't want to lose too much there. How much? Those guys are just a little. I think don't like the way these guys. Those guys went in. I'm gonna brush those guys out. Don't like the way those guys went in. Way too thick. Way too thick. They look clumsy. Look, don't look elegant enough. So I'm gonna brush them out again. I don't mind the, the mid posts going through here. Those guys are just a little bit close. And I can put them in so much easier just with a knife. Just don't put them in my knife. I got a little teeny knife here. It's only about this big, you know, and it just, it's perfect for this kind of stuff. So I want to put these things in like hairline type things. And uh, I mean, I got a, I'm just gonna do and I just lay it down. Just give it a little wiggle when you get it down there. And it does a lot, gives me the line work I want. That one got it. The thing is too, when you I do this, I don't want all of them perfect. You want, a, you want a couple bad ones in here too. Okay, I think. And a little more light. All right, now like I was talking about putting in just a little bit of this stuff, a little bit of boards, you know, because I don't want to do every board going across the siding wise. So I kind of just make up I know I need to, I like to do the bottom one put a line here I think just do it with the, that little knife again and just that catch catching just an edge of paint putting it in I don't want to do is line up look like I started in the same spot all the way up Okay, so you're gonna move it around. I mean, it might want about the same distance, you know. But you just don't want to start. Sometimes, especially when you do longer build, longer buildings and stuff, feel like you started in the about the same spot each time. Because it'll make a line. It'll make a line where you started right up the thing and kind of. Uh, messed up what you were thinking about doing. Now I'm just adding a little bit of paint and then I'm gonna touch this up with my knife or my brush. And see how fast I, I did that, all those lines quickly. And it was probably a little, you know, and probably more boards on it than uh, 
I'm doing and stuff. What? I'm not going to do all those. And I just go back in and put some of this rick rack back in. And I'll just go back and touch it with the brush. And then it should be done for the evening. This is usually my one of my final things to do is just whenever I bring out my knife. But I also, like I said, I want to put in probably a couple more branches, but you guys seen how I put kind of put those in. So I'm not too uh, crazy about that. <laughs> uh oh, we done? Anybody done? Hmm. This is an easy one, right? Yeah. What'd you say? Huh? I like doing buildings. You do? Okay. Yeah. I do. Like I said, next week I think I got. Uh, Lynette's uh, cousin's uh, thing, and it's kind of a uh, what kind of it's it's on the it's on it's a harbor shot sort, of, but it's simple. It's just a. <laughs> simple. It. You saw it, then yeah. Yeah, I think so. It, yeah, it's gonna be one of those. It's on the it's on the our site there. So. Um. Let's or, see what else do I want to do. Well, I want to finish this, this log here. Just wipe off a few spots here. Uh, that needs to be richer. Okay. Now I just take, you know, all those, all these lines here. I'll just take my edge of my brush and go back in and just lay it lay it down on top of them so they don't because they are kind of harsh but I'll just let the bristles blend them away and that's the easy way to do this stuff hopefully this doesn't look too much like a Disney cartoon no, it doesn't. No. Wait till you see it tomorrow because you'll yeah. forget about it a little bit. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, you're, you go, oh, yeah, you guys are so nice. Go, go get your shine box. <laughs> okay, what movie is that from? Come on. I'm remembering. Is it a Disney movie? <laughs> yeah. Definitely a Disney movie. <laughs> Martin Scorsese, Disney oh. movie. Oh. <laughs> like Django. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely Django. Did you see yeah. that? Good fellas, come on, man. Oh. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was good, fellas. Then they had to go, they came back and killed the guy and had and put him in the trunk. I didn't see it. You didn't Thanks. see it? Mm -mm. Uh, Spoiler alert. Oh. One of his better ones. That's a really great one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. You show it to your kids yet? Huh. What do your kids watch? What do they? Well, what do you... Stranger Things. They yeah, were, you let them watch that. Yeah, they were big on that. Cool. Yeah, the kids are a little older now. It's just never. It's always interesting to see what everybody else watch still watching right now. The poor kids. Yeah, poor kids. Okay. I think, uh, who wants a show first here? 
I am only one person painting. Am I the only one painting? No. I'm am I the only one not painting? Asked. Okay, I can tell you what I'm going to change and stuff to it, too. You know, like I said, uh, I think you, you hit it on the nose about the green and stuff. I think that could probably, should be a, probably a purple green or something like that in, in here. You know, going in, in, working back in there. Yeah. Already it's better. Yeah, better. You guys, I just because that's going to push this building out too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God dang it, Carol, where are you when I'm painting and stuff? I need you. You're my muse. <laughs> okay, Carol. Fine. Anything else, Carol? No, I'm loving the whole thing, and I, I'm glad you didn't put the sky in because yeah. because your sky is glowing through the trees. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, you guys, doggone it, she's always right. You're not my wife, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I could be your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. You know, the only thing I'm going to do next is probably put in a couple of these guys stuff in, you know, and put in a couple of these branches. Key thing is, you know, limit yourself on your branches, you know, keep the body, limit yourself on how many you put in. You put in all these guys and you're going to have a quagmire and it's just going to drag your attention away from this guy. This guy needs a little brightening here and there on a couple boards and stuff, but, you know, that's it's it'll be it'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, oh. you'll be able to concentrate. Yeah, yeah, I know. Won't be gabbing. without us. I won't be just sitting there gabbing like crazy on it. Right. Stuff. So, hmm. but uh, let's see who anybody want to show. Andrea, you're here. God, she's so quiet. She's dangerous. You got to watch her. Carol, did you paint at all? You just no, watch. I no, I watch, but I took a lot of notes because I'm doing it tomorrow. Okay, I want to see something great out of you. Okay, beautiful, strong. Uh, okay, and then Jane, you're the same way. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> I had a late start. Uh, I've got another project going. My son got me in making isolation gowns. Yeah. So you know here. As a half hour late trying to figure out what he wanted to join uh, us. I, uh -huh. uh, I didn't even get the colors mixed up, so I was just jazzing around. This is kind of what I came up with, but I'm far from the building. Nice. I, oh. I didn't get the colors um, that you were mixing, so I'm still- Those are so nice. No, that's okay. <laughs> Look, it was, just, it was just what basically what we did on Saturday, just a little more concentrated. Wow. <laughs> it was nice. just a graze. Bird yeah. sienas and blues. Right. So it's coming out a little weird on the building. I'm just keep it going. How to do a bad over lean kind of technique. It, it, right, right. You want to just keep it a little, keep the building a little more simple for, you, for everything else around it flows because then, you know, because there's going to be a lot of craziness there. Oh, definitely. So, Real so keep, too. <laughs> I mean, even, even with the boards themselves, you want to just, you know, Keep those kind of uh, subtle modulations of color, and then just you know hit hit the uh, hit the siding uh, lines and stuff. That's about it. Nothing too hard. It looks good though. It looks your drawing looks you're always drugs is always strong. So you're good. We're going to you, Paul. You around? I'm I'm still working. I'll, I'll do it. Some, I'll send it in tomorrow though. You I got punk. It. You are a punk. <laughs> I can show you where I am, but it's nothing much there. Let's see, Paul. Right. Let's see where Paul, you're at. Paul's a big right, liar. He's a big uh -huh. liar. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to see how, draw, how strong you're drawing it. Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, that's, that's, you see that already look has the depth it has already. To it. Okay, I hate oh. you already. Oh, stop. <laughs> he likes being hated, though. <laughs> 
But thanks, Paul. Thanks. Yeah. I hate put, putting you on the spot. Now we're going to yeah. go to Lisa. 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 What do you have, Lisa? Oh, wait a second. What did Andrea, what did you come up again? There we go. Oh, there we go, Lisa. Oh. Oh. Look at it. I love that dark. Wow. Wow. That thing. Looks I, have to, I have to pull cut some out of there. It's way too dark. I yeah, but I, I do like that. I like the idea of how dark it is. That is kind of very uh, stoic. And it has such strength. It just jumps out of that, that background and stuff. That's dramatic. Mm -hmm. Very dramatic. dramatic. I think, and I like the way you're just, you're handling it. The drawing, you know, going at it like that is really neat. We'll see. We'll see if I don't wreck it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't wreck it. So what I'll are you try. thinking of what? So tell me what, you've got the sky in, you think, now, or what? Mine? Are you done um, with this guy? Yeah. You know, I didn't think I was, but yeah, I might just, you know, clean it up a bit and leave it. Yeah, I know. Just because you're going to put some trees going through it and stuff. And yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to I'm just, I'm just so tired right now of white skies and or doing blue skies and stuff. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to. Yeah, no, I think I'll leave it. But too. I'll get my fingerprints off it and everything else. <laughs> okay. Fingerprints. All right. I like it a lot, though. I really Thanks. do. Yeah, I haven't wrecked it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you time. I'll Thanks. Think we'll... <laughs> Great mood to it. Yeah, I like the mood Thank to you. it. We'll see. We'll see it up uh, on the on the group show. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever see my horses again, but you might see this one. They're no, right you better finish those horses. I want something good from you. Okay. I like those horses. I like Paul's horses. All right. <laughs> I think you can. You can still take a shot. So I think that's it, folks. We done? Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, Thank guys. You. I think we did enough damage. Yeah. Thanks for everyone. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate See it. Said, down the road. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for all your time. It was wonderful. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be safe. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> And